The question 4 is relationships between inscribed angles. Here we have a set of different problems. The first type begins with a simple one. Finding measure of arc AC. Here we can see the angle B is inscribed. How do we find this measure of arc AC? There's a simple formula. Whenever we have an inscribed angle, this arc is twice than this of inscribed angle or this inscribed angle is half of this arc. So I will write over here the measure of angle B is equal to half of the measure of arc AC. So this is the arc. That's it. And now we need to find the arc AC. So take this 2 to the other side. It will be 2 times the measure of arc angle B. That is 36. So that is the measure of arc AC. We get over here as 72 degrees. That would be the answer. You can see that's the answer. 72. Here they have asked to measure the angle N. We have this arc. So the inscribed angle will be half of this arc. So it's 62 divided by 231 would be the answer. Very straightforward problems. Please solve them by yourselves. Here, one important thing, if it was a central angle, now imagine this was the angle, then this and this are equal. We have done it in the previous problems, but now it's inscribed angle. It's inscribed on any uh, part of the circle. So that's why we take it as half. And then we can easily solve it up. Over here also, it's the same thing, QSR. It will be half of, sorry, two times of 113 degrees. And this is 30, 23, so this will be 2 times 23, 46 would be the answer. Try these by yourselves and then check for the answers. Everything is solved up over here. And now this one, how exactly would you do it? Here they have told this arc is 120, this is 140. So what is this one? You can add these up and minus it from 360 degrees. Total is 360 degree in a circle. Minus 120 minus 140. It will be 260. So 100 is remaining. So this one over here is 100. But that arc is 100. So what is the measure of angle R? Half of 100 is 50 degrees. So that is how we can solve it up. And now we need to find the measure of angle N. This is a little different type of uh, question. Here, this is needed to be solved. And we know a few of the angles, but look at these sides. See, this is the inscribed and this is inscribed. Where does it touch? P and L. And even over here, we know it's having the same point. So that means angle M and N are equal. Now, we know M is how much? 3Y plus 8. That is equal to 6Y minus 1. So solve for Y. So it will be take 3y to the other side and this minus 1 to the other side will be 8 plus 1 equals 6y minus 3y. You will have 9 is equal to 3y. y is equal to 3. So measure of y is 3. So it will be 3 times 3 plus 8. It's 9 plus 8 over here. It will be 17. So measure of angle n is 17 degrees. That's the answer. Same way, please do solve for the other angles. Just how we have done over here, L and P are congruent and you can equate them and solve it up. Here we have a different figure, but the concept remains the same. Look which is inscribed, this angle is inscribed and which is it equal to? Angle D because D is also having the same ends. So then just equate it up and solve it up. Even with A, A and B are congruent to each other. Now we have paragraph proofs. Now this is a MCQ part. Your questions must be in MCQs. You will have options. So I'm not sure how exactly they'll ask this. But anyways, we'll go through this. They have given us measure of angle T. This one is half of measure of angle S. Okay. And we need to prove TUR is equal to 2 times the measure of URS. Now from inscribed angle theorem, we can say the measure of angle S is equal to what? This much, right? So we know, sorry, angle S is equal to not equal half of TUR. This much I can write, R TUR. 
And what about angle T? T is equal to angle T, measure of angle T is half of URS arc. And they have already given us measure of angle T is half of measure of angle S. So we can substitute these two over here because we know the relationship of S from its cramped angles and T, the values. So substitute in the given. So what's going to happen is measure of angle T over here, it will be half URS is equal to, what is the measure of angle S? It is again half, already there is half, multiplied by half TUR. Now let's multiply throughout by 2. So what happens is it's can this half cancels out if you multiply throughout by 2. So it will be URS arc is equal to half, see 1, 2 and this cancels and this also cancels. You are remaining with half TUR. Is this the... No, now over here they have asked you for value of TUR. So multiply again by 2 or you can multiply in the first attempt by 4. Sorry. Now we have to multiply 2 because we already did 2. You will have 2 URS is equal to TUR. The arc TUR, measure of arc TUR is equal to 2 times 2 measure of URS. This is the proof. Very simple proof. You need to know the inscribed angle formula for these angles S and T. Substitute them in the given. See the given is already there and then simplify it. Here the detailed explanation is available as well. And what about this one over here? Now they have told prove measure of KML. KML and MJMH are similar. See, this is similar symbol. Now, we can easily prove one of the angles are equal. Oh, no, we can easily do this. See, this is one triangle and this is one more triangle, right? We have to prove just similarity. You know, the AA similarity is very simple. Angle, angle similarity. Let's do that. I can tell this angle is equal to this angle. Why? Because they are vertically opposite. And now look at H, that's inscribing this arc, isn't it? And what about L? It's inscribing the same arc. So L, angle L, must be equal to angle H. They both are congruent. So I've got two angles congruent, therefore they are similar. So I can tell this is proved. If I just prove any two, triang uh, two angles equal, then this is proved. So that's what is done over here. They have given it's a circle and inscribed angles have been intercepting the same arc that is H and L and we know vertical angles that is measure of angle M from K, M, L and J, M, H and therefore from A similarity we have proved it up. Try to remember the concept and the formula of the inscribed angles and then you can easily solve these problems.